Okay, today I'm I'm going to change the logic board for this uh, Galaxy S4. Okay. Okay, this Galaxy X, this Galaxy S4 uh, have a, a broken uh, logic board. Uh, I suspect something wrong with the SOC because of the memory module uh, shows some weird thing, some weird behavior. Uh, although I flashed it multiple of times, uh, it still it still uh, keep on hanging uh, during booting. Uh, so. After multiple time of test, okay, uh, verify that the already verified that the memory modules have issue. So here with me here, I have a recon circuit board, a recon logic board that I bought from some online stores. Uh, it took me one whole month to receive it to receive this package. And the camera lens already scratched, so I'm not going to use this camera. I'll use the old camera instead. Okay, first of all, I'm going to open up this this phone. <coughs> okay. By the way, this model is the uh, GTI. I five zero five. Uh, I have another unit which is a uh, GT I nine five zero six. Uh, which is actually uh, this phone that using to record uh, this video. Okay, first I have to open up this phone. Okay, this screwdriver is is the type that have my neck. Uh, to to open up a phone, to, to repair a phone, it's recommended to use uh, the type of screwdriver that, that has a magnet. And yeah, here's a box for me to keep the screws. You need to have a box to keep, keep all these screws because it will lost easily if you don't put it in a proper place.
<coughs> okay, the last screw is out. Now I will have to open this phone, open up this phone. Okay, you can either use your fingernail or you can use a guitar pick. A lot of people ask me why I keep my fingernails, so I show you how I use my fingernail. Okay, this is the softest part of the phone, so I'm going to start from here. I have to peel off, peel off the meat board from the screen. Okay, you have to open it gently. Don't open it by force. Or else you're going to screw. It. You're going to screw it. all the all the lock over here. <coughs> okay. By the way, um, for this logic board, uh, if the full model itself is i9505 don't go and get i9506 because the port is totally different it won't fit so have to pay attention on this when you select the board make sure you get the correct board now the next thing i do i'll have to open up all these connectors by the way, this is the charging port uh, for this phone. The charging port itself was also uh, was was really broken. Uh, sometimes it can charge, sometimes it can't. It can't charge. Uh, but since this this charging port haven't arrived yet, and I need to test if this board is working, uh, so I'll change the board first. Because if the board is not working, I will have to return it within uh, 14 days to get a new one. Okay, so let's open up all these connectors. Open it gently. And by the way, do not use anything metal. It will damage your phone. Always use plastic tools. Especially special tools like, like this. Just for all these kind of tools is uh, made for repair phone. Okay, this is the connector that connect the logic board to the charging board. Make sure you do it very, very gently because all these parts, they are all very, very fragile. Okay. <coughs> now that I have opened all these connectors, all these ribbon connectors, I need to remove this board. Uh, one more connector here. Okay, since we will be we will be using the old camera instead of this camera that comes with the port which should really scratch, I'll have to take off the camera as well.
Okay, now we put back the camera before we proceed on putting back the board to the mid board. Okay, we might having a bit difficulties when putting back the, the board because of the camera have to be aligned to the hole over here. Okay, we connect back this connector, which is connected to the screen. The headphone jack connector. Sensors, the sensors connector here. Now, the charging port connector. And now, the antenna. This part I have no choice but to use this one because it's too small. Before close the cover, I have to align this back. Okay. <clears throat> okay, just before we close back this back cover, let's try to turn it on and see. Just in case if anything goes wrong, we still we still can take it off and put it back again. Okay, you can feel the vibration. <coughs> okay, at this point, it's normal that you won't hear any sound because the speaker is actually attached to here, to the, to the back cover. Okay, you can see here, this is uh, the Hong Kong model. Let's change to English first.
Okay, it seems like it's working. Seems like firmware is quite poor. Okay, this is running on Android 4.4.2, uh, which is KiCad. Uh, currently, uh, this i9506 uh, I'm running on Lollipop so later I'll be doing another video on how to update uh, this phone this Galaxy S4 to the latest uh, to the latest firmware but of course that is something quite simple um, also I might do I might do a video about how to flash it this phone using Lineage OS, which previously known as Synergy Mode. Okay, since it's working now, I'm going to turn it off. Oops. Here, click some at all this edge here. Okay, since we got the back cover back on it, try to turn it on, on one more time. If it got sound, then we will put back the screw. Yeah, it does have sound. So just put, we just uh, put back all the screws.
say the last group. So here we are, a ninety percent working phone, except for this charging port that I'm uh, going to change very very soon. But uh, I'm not going to make a video on that because it's quite simple. It's just <coughs> one small circuit board down here. You just simply take off the screw, pull it up. That's all. So I hope you like this video. If you like this video, click like and subscribe. Subscribe my channel. Okay, that's all. Thank you for watching.